line and column chart right people also call it a combo chart so where we have a visualization which is combination of column chart and the line chart now in that you can get the variation also let me explain you them quickly so when i start how i'm going to take it i'll provide you a little bit of context in what scenario you may require this kind of visualization and then i tell you a bit of technicality how you can you know create how do we create that and a little bit of formatting things which we always cover in most of the visualization videos right so let me take you over here in the visualization pane and right over here you get line and stacked column chart i'm there are two variation of this line and stacked column and line and clustered column so i'm going to start with line and stacked column so let's uh, you just need to click that and after this <clears throat> here i have the supermart supermart sales data now what i want to analyze it i want to see the sales by month right i have the data for one year so what i'm going to do is i'll take the date column and i'll put it on x-axis now what do you see is nothing <laughs> excellent now i'll i'll scroll down and in column y-axis so this is y-axis for column into that i'm going to put the total now what you see is just one column because the sale is for one year now i want to split it in month so for that what i can do is i can just drill it down right so this is showing by quarter and now we got it by month this is another interesting feature this i got the sales by each of the month now what if i want to see the margin also by month right how do i see that so for that we can combine a line on this column chart and just here i have gross income i'm going to take that and put it in line y axis that is it now here you got the line this is it now you must be thinking we started with stacked line and stacked column chart here we are simply saying one column right so let's say if i want to split the total sales by city so what i'll do is i'll take city and i'll put that in column legend and as soon as i do that let me scroll it down a bit take this and put it in column legend now you see this is what we got this is done our chart is ready and this is the purpose for which we use the combo chart means which is combination of line and column chart now let's look into the little bit of you know formatting part so over here in the lines i will go and i'll make the line little thicker stroke width four now i there are option to change the line style as well line type as well so the one currently we are saying is linear we can make it smooth also so i'm going to make it smooth on top of this i am also planning to put some marker so let me put this marker there so you can see the marker over here what i'll do is i will also change the column colors right so here i need to go in columns and into the colors i will choose the color of my choice which could be entirely different from what you want to have and that is absolutely fine because everybody has different choice of colors right so you see here is what we are looking for and you got a combination of both of these two now if you want to change a to cluster one you can do that as well now here is what you got here you don't see the secondary axis and line is showing at the bottom for that we have the solution go on this and in the secondary y-axis just switch it on and here is what you get all right so you see how interesting this chart is and you can utilize it in your visualization to make it more interesting and you know informative thank you very much for watching this wish you good luck